Welcome to the channel guys, today I'm gonna to explain how I made my new track alive featuring Mario Gomes. And I know I What is up everyone, Mario here. Today I'm gonna go through my latest release. It's called Alive and it features Mario Gomes, a Portuguese singer. Uh, I'll leave his socials down below if you wanna follow him. This video is probably gonna be a bit long because I'll be covering the whole track, but if it ends up being too long, I'll split it into two parts, okay? So let's take a look at the project and see how everything was made. And by the way, guys, if you like this track, please go stream it on all platforms because you'll be helping me a lot, okay? Let's move into the project. Okay guys, so this is the project. It's a bit big, but not too much. Okay, um, okay, this is version four, I guess, but um, this is definitely not the last one. The problem is that after version five, I think, I exported the instrumental as an audio file. Okay, so this might not sound exactly the same as the final version of the song, but it's pretty close. Okay, so to start off, guys, as you can see, I have here like, uh, five different reference tracks, okay? It's important to guide yourself through these reference tracks while mixing and mastering, okay? This is the the drum section. As you can see, it's quite big. And then we have the instrument section and uh, the leads for the drop. And then last but not least, the vocals, which are here, okay? and then uh, some effects. Okay, so let's start going through what I made first, okay? So I think I started this song with the piano, this one right here. Okay, it's a contact piano. I think this is the core of the song. It's its main melody, what makes you vibrate with it, okay? Then to complement this, I added a pad. It goes like this. Okay, then some just, just texture behind it. This is like a vocal text texture from Cashmere. Okay, then some bars after I have this uh, ambient sample as well which is also pretty characteristic from the song. Okay, and then uh, to start the song, I have the piano reversed, okay? I'm pretty sure you know how to do this, but if you don't, you just take your piano, okay, go like this. You choose just one bar, okay, make sure it doesn't end right here. You play it, okay, then you go to the master, you just had some reverb, you put the decay really high, okay, then you add in some Edison. Okay, when you play and record it, it sounds like this. Okay, this was probably too much DK, obviously. <laughs> but then you drag it into the playlist. Okay, and you reverse it, and here you have your uh, reverse piano sample. Okay, so that's what I did. So the instruments together, they sound like this. Okay, then I noticed that I forgot to mention the violin right here. Okay, it's Sonatina, Sonatina violin, sounds like this. Okay, uh, to make it a bit more dynamic, I automated the vocal texture volume and the pads volume as well. So they, they get a bit uh, higher in volume when they get to the break. Okay, for the mixing of this, guys, um, not too complex. 
As you can see, mostly EQs for the pad just to cut out some high and low end, uh, a compressor. Okay, then for the piano, just an EQ to cut out some high and low end again. Then for the vocal texture, more EQ, cut out the low end. And then I routed uh, all instruments to the instrument bus. I took out some mid. I do this because someone once told me that if you cut out some mid frequencies where uh, in the same place where the vocal is hitting, uh, you let it breathe a bit more, okay? So the instrumental will duck a bit down in this particular area and the vocal will breathe more, okay? And that was it. I just added some uh, reverb to the instruments and that's it, pretty simple, okay? Next on, guys, um, what I did was I started writing the lyrics for this right after I added the, the piano, to be honest, not even the pads or the violin, just the piano. And this is not the main vocal because I made the vocal on a new project together with Mario, but um, okay, it, it sounded like this, the instruments with the, the piano, okay? Woke up in my dreams with the silence of your screen. Okay, as you can see, uh, the auto-tune, Melodyne, this is not working well right here. That's why we recorded in a different project. Okay, so I'll leave that to the end. So let's move on to the drums. Okay, guys, for the drums, for the buildup, we just have this simple loop right here. It's composed of uh, a kick with a filter and then a lot of drums, uh, um, like sort of orchestral drums from Kashmir. Okay, they sound like this. Okay, this sounds pretty nice, but it's a bit wide. Uh, and after I finished the song and I released it, I noticed that um, it didn't sound too good in mono. Okay, this part in specific. So the voice is uh, too much in your face and then you can't really hear the, um, the drums behind it. Um, okay, so I probably should have made this a bit less wider. Okay, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, really simple guys, just a kick. It's just really filter down, then, then some high drums and some low drums. Okay, we can listen to this with the instrument. Okay, sounds pretty nice. Okay, then the build up is just a simple loop from Kashmir. Definitely nothing too much, and that's it. Pretty simple, guys. Okay, moving on to the effects of this. Um, also, nothing too much. I just added an ambience set right here. I like to add some, you know, background ambience like birds, nature, whatever. Okay, sounds like this. Okay, this is actually a combination of fire, uh, birds, and people having a meal at a restaurant, which is pretty. <laughs> <gasps> pretty weird, but it sounds pretty good, okay? It's the sample right here. Okay, uh, this this really fills up the song underneath. Okay, then some normal sweep ups and transitions. And then for the build up, we got some impacts, okay? Uh, and they sound like this. Okay, also some risers and that's it. Okay, last for the effects, we also have the leads from the drop coming in with a filter to go like this. Okay, for some reason this is not working because I probably did it in a different project, but you can listen to it in the original track. Okay, it's an unusual trick from producers. You just uh, use your leads right here. I can actually uh, replicate it to you go like this. Okay, it's right here. And what you do is you add an EQ, and then you automate the high end of it and it goes like this. Okay, in solo you can't really get what it's doing, but if we add it in the context of the song, it goes like this.
Okay, it sounds pretty nice. Okay, moving on to the drop, guys. You're probably not going to be able to listen to this uh, during the explanation because uh, my computer cannot handle this project. Okay, but let's start to split it into parts. Okay, so for the drums, guys, they sound like this. Okay, not too complex, but they sound really powerful. Okay, I did an unusual thing right here, and it, it was to add two kicks, but it really worked for this track. Okay, so the first one was this one right here. This is how the drums sound without the first, uh, without the second kick. Okay, so it doesn't sound bad, but it lacks a bit of punch and low end. And then with the second one, which is this one right here. Okay, they sound like this. You can really see the difference. Okay, to avoid any clashing, I um, for the first kick, I cut out some low end and uh, compressed it and then added some transpire. What this does is it adds more attack to the kick. And then I took out some high end to not clash with the second one. Okay, for the second one, I just added some EQ to cut out the low end and then a compressor and once again, a bit more attack. Okay, then I just added some claps some uh, reverse claps, okay, and then like a little snap, okay. Okay, then to to fill the silent, we have this tom right here, this big snare right here. Basic EDM stuff. <laughs> okay, then I added some loops, they sound like this. Then at the end, I added some toms and a right to finish it up. Okay, really simple guys. Okay, moving on to the bass guys. Um, I didn't show the intro bass, it was a really simple one, it sounds like this. This is just like an, a Harmer uh, simple bass. Uh, we actually have uh, some marks right here. Correct vocal low, orchestral drums. <laughs> yeah, I, I I had some stuff to do, guys. Okay, okay. The bass, guys. Uh, it sounds like this. I think this bass is composed by four synths. I guess. Um, Uh, four, four or five cents, as you can see, like a sub bass, a bass, a mid bass. Then we have this clank. I think I I, I ended up added the intro bass as well to fill it a bit more. Okay, how I did this is I added a layer. Then you just select um, the it's children, okay, and then you 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 hit this set children button. And what happens is you only write the, on the piano roll for the layer, and then the layer will play. Uh, all the other synths, okay? So as you can see when I play it, these five synths are playing together. Okay, and if we were to change a note, it will affect all the synths. Okay, okay guys, so let's listen to the bass individually. The first, uh, first we have just a sub bass, it's a silent, it sounds like this. Okay, then we add a bass. This is a serum. And as you can see, it's really filtered down. Okay, then next off we have the mid bass, which sounds like this. And as you can see, it has pretty much no low end at all. Okay, then we have the eye clank, which is a sample. This is just to add some more attack to it. And then I added the intro bass, the simple harmer bass, it goes like this. Okay, easy guys. For the sub guys, uh, just a simple EQ to cut out uh, frequencies to 40 Hertz. Then I cut out everything after around uh, 80 Hertz. This is just my standard uh, EQing for sub bass. Then I added some Camel Crush for distortion. We can listen to 
to it with and without. Without it goes like this. Okay, you can barely notice it. And then I'm gonna add the camel crush and it goes like this. You can see it gets a bit more distorted, okay? Then I add some EQ again to remove the frequencies added uh, from Camel Crusher. Okay, then really simple, moving on to the bass. We just add some EQ, okay, to keep it in the, the, the this part. For Future House, guys, it's, it's really common to layer your bass a lot, okay, to fulfill each part of the frequency spectrum, okay? Once again, Camel Crusher again for um, distortion, then another EQ for the same reason I just told you, then another distortion plugin which is Sausage Fattener, and we cut it off once again to remove unwanted frequencies. Okay, then for the mid bass, the process is pretty much the same, we just replace Camel Crush with Sound Geyser, and we um, cut out all low frequencies in sounds like this. Okay, then the clank. And then for the bass bus, we just added the sidechain with kickstart and 90%, some OTT to compress it all. And I boosted some frequencies at the mid, upper mid uh, frequencies. Okay, all together, the bass with the drums sound like this. Okay, really full, guys. Moving on, guys, to the lyrics. Okay. So this is how the lyrics sound. Okay, lyric-wise, what we have here, guys, is... First of all, we have the pianos, okay? Like a, an FL Keys piano. <laughs> and this is a serum piano, and they go like this. Okay, two layers, uh, how I mixed this was, I just sent them to their own track, then I sent both of them to this instrument bus right here, and for the EQ, I just cut out some low end to not clash with the bass, okay. Uh, I added some sound desert for distortion, the capitator for distortion, and then some hollow room for reverb. I did a similar thing to the second layer, and then I glued them together with some glue and OTT, okay. EQ them again and added some uh, sidechain. Okay, it sounds like this. We can listen to it in the context of the song. Okay, the pianos add a lot of groove to this track. Okay, then moving on to the leads, guys. This is how they sound. Okay, really simple melody, guys. I didn't use the layer here for the layers. They all have their own piano roll. Okay, the first lead is a silent one. Okay, let's listen to each lead individually. The first one goes like this. It's a silent one, sort of uh, Garrick's lead. Then we have a second one, which is also a silent one, called the Mega Lead. It's probably from a native sample pack. Then we have a third one. Okay, once again, silent one orange lead, and then to finish it off, the fourth lead. This one sounds really good, it's a Harmer one. Um, I don't know if it's an init preset, it, it sounds to me like it has some legato on it. Um, okay, and don't forget guys, uh, once again, Future House, it's really common to layer um, your main lead with a lot of other leads, okay? Um, also, you need to know that you need to choose specific leads for specific purposes, okay? You need to fill specific parts of the frequency spectrum, okay? And this is what we did right here, all right? So for the mixing of this, guys, um, I did the, the usual process. I routed each lead to an individual track, and then I routed all of them to the lead bus, okay? So lead one, some EQ to cut out um, the low end, okay, then Let's listen to, uh, yeah, I haven't been showing what the plugins do, but let's do that for the leads, okay? So the lead uh, initially sound like this. Okay, then some EQ to cut out the low end. Then decapitator, this is for distortion. 
Then more distortion with Camel Crusher. And you can see right here, Camel Crusher does the big difference to it, okay? This is without. And then with. It really crushes the shit out of it, <laughs> right? Okay, then next off, just some EQ to cut out uh, unwanted added frequencies. And then once again, I ducked it down on the upper mid frequencies to help the vocal breathe a bit more. Okay, lead number two. Easy enough, we just got some EQ to cut out low end. Then for the third one, we got some EQ to cut out the low end and the low mid frequencies and some upper high frequencies. And then I also added a stereo shaper to make it a bit wider. Okay, so this is without. And then with. If you were to exaggerate it, it would go like this. Okay, so you can see what it does. Okay, you probably need some headphones to notice this as well, guys. And then last but not least, the vocal bus, uh, sorry, the lead bus. And what we did was add some glue. Okay, to compress the all the leads together, then we added some OTT with the same purpose. This is sounding really loud. Then some Valhalla Room, this is just some simple reverb. Okay, then I added some EQ. This is for the vocal to breathe, as I told you already. Uh, and this one is just for the automation on the buildup, okay, to cut out that high end when we're building up. Okay, and then last but not least, some kickstart to add that sidechain. Okay, guys, this together with the drums and the bass, it sounds like this. I'm not sure if it's going to play, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to check the original song for this, okay? <laughs> okay guys, uh, last but not least for this project, we have the FX for the drop. This is really simple, guys. Just some sweeps that go up and down during the, the drop. Okay, I usually add some kickstart right here, a low kickstart. Uh, just to add a bit groove, let's listen to it with the drums. Okay, so. This is a kickstart automation. So what I do is on the first bar, I don't add any kickstart. Uh, so you don't notice it when it hits. And then on the second bar, it comes in, okay? Then I added some exhausts. This is just add that white noise, guys. Okay, then at the end, I added a riser and a sweep up just to make the transition to the break. Okay, goes like this. Okay, and then we have the next break. And that's it. Let's move on to the vocal project. Okay, guys, so I feel like the video is getting too long, so we'll do the instrumental on part one, and then we'll leave part two for the vocals. Okay, so with that said, let's listen to the final result. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was interesting to you, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the track, and yeah, go stream the heck out of it guys. Thank you again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.